stitchy friends welcome to cross my stitches my name is jackie and today is november 25th 2023 it's saturday and it has been a real hot minute since i have videoed anything and i have no excuse except to say that i have not felt like getting behind the video and doing this uh, I'm, I'm just a little scatterbrained uh, now with uh, things going on. I'm not going to get through, go through all that. Um, uh, everybody that pretty much watches this channel knows that I have some medical issues and stuff and I'm still dealing with them. And some of the medications that I'm on make me um, tired or they, they mess with my focus. So I can't focus on getting things completed and done. And when that happens, I really don't want to film the video. I apologize for the glare of my glasses. I cannot get away, get away from the glare no matter what. I put the shade down so the window's not going through my glasses. So you don't see that. But then I have to put lights on around me and one above. And that's where you get in this glare here in my face. So again, I apologize for that. Uh, I have got some finishes. I have been working on some stitching. I also have um, some wool applique going, some punch needle going, and I did a little quilting. So I'm excited to share that with you. And I have plans of starting six new starts. My birthday is December 31st. I'll be 60 years old. I can't even believe that is coming out of my mouth. I don't feel 60. My body feels 60. Okay, let's, let's get that right. My body's saying, yes, you are. <laughs> But my mind keeps telling me I'm in my 20s and I can do things, except for it's a 20 year old that might be, uh, I don't even know how to put that. I really don't. I feel like a 20, but my mind is still a little scattered from things. So um, I feel like I can do the everything, but my body says, no, 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 you can't. You, and I'm sure a lot of you are that way. You understand exactly how I feel. So I have gotten some things done though. So I'm excited to share those with you. I do not believe I'll be doing videos every other week, at least not until after the new year, because it's pretty tough. I did say that I wanted to do a um, cross stitch newbie tips and tricks. I may try to squeeze that in um, somewhere between now and the new year. I also said that I was going to film my um, cross stitch uh, what is it? Cross eye cricket mini, mini, mini mittens. And then I was going to video that to show how I'm finishing those. Hopefully I'll get that put in here. I still haven't done any finishing per se of my stitching. I have my son's stocking. I need to get finished. I have a bunch of ornaments, other finishing to do. I really want to get Santa the forest in his frame. And I also finally found a frame for Miss Christmas Eve and I have to get her beading done. So I have all this stuff I want to get done. And then on my birthday, December 31st, I'm going to have six new starts that day. So celebrate my 60th birthday. So I got a lot of things planned and whether I will follow through on anything, depending on my mood from day to day, we will see. I make no promises of anything at this point until I can kind of get myself leveled out. So today I'm going to share some stuff that I have done. Okay, so the first thing is I have completed the two patterns that are Doreen Jones called Snowman Stars. And I'm going to show you pictures off my phone because every time I seem to put in, actually add a picture in, it really takes a lot longer for me to upload or edit my video. And it takes a long time to finalize and then upload. So I'm going to do it this way. Hopefully nobody minds I'm doing it this way. But these I got off of her Etsy shop, and those are the two patterns. And I finally finished both. And I didn't do mine on black. I did mine on a blue. And I wish I could tell you what the name of the blue is, but I have no idea. This is the second one, though, and it is finished. So now I just got to get some fabric and get those fully finished. She gives full instructions. And so I'm excited to get that completed because she gives such wonderful directions on how to get that done, along with the templates for, sorry, I got a hair across my arm, as well as the templates to finish them, which makes it really easy. So it's step-by-step step with the templates and they do come out looking like um, quilted stars. So I'll get that real close so you can see that. Isn't that adorable? There's the two of them. 
and I think they are adorable. So I'm looking forward to that if I can get them done this year. So that's my first finish. My second finish is called Winter Animals, and they are from The Little Stitcher on Etsy. And I'm sure you've seen those before. I have two done. I am working on the third one. So the first one I finished was the deer, and you've seen that. The second one I finished is the fox. I got that finished, and now I'm working on the squirrel. So let's take a look at those. And they're all on the same piece of fabric right now. So like I've showed you before, oh, it looks like I might have finished the squirrel. Did I finish the squirrel? I think I did. I've got all three finished. So I've showed this before. That is the deer. These are going to be little pillows. They might be ornaments. I have no idea. There's the fox. And there's the squirrel. So I had no idea I finished the squirrel. So surprise to me. And they're adorable. So I still have two more to do, which is two birds. Let me see if I can make them bigger so you can see those. Those are the two that I haven't finished yet. And so I'm looking forward to at some point getting those done. They're not a priority. I did get these three done. I have the fabric for the other ones. So those are finished. And then the last thing that I finished was my bakery elf from Fancy That. So that's her right there. And she's finished except for her buttons will go on when I fully finish her. And I'll show you what she looks like. So she stitched on, and I didn't mention it before. This is a natural, I think it's 32 count petty point. It is a 32 count petty point litter, linen and raw. So that's what those were done on. And this is a 36 count flax linen. And there she is. Now I will say that I think I need to back stitch around her head to just make it stand out a little more. So I may do that before I fully finish, fully finish her. But she is completed. She's got a little gingerbread man that will hang right here. And then she's got a little mouse that will sit over here by the flower sack. And so I have her and I think the Postmaster Elf that I need to fully finish, they are waiting. And I really would like to get those done soon. And those are my finishes this round. What I've been working on is I have spent a lot of time working on Map of Hawk Run Hollow. So once I got this thing rolling, I really was enjoying working on it. It's a 40 count doubloon that I over dyed with tan writ dye to make it a little darker. This is the pattern right here. And again, I love this. And I was working on trying to get this whole bird done. And then I'm working in here. And I thought I had all this wing done and I was like, I finished the bird. I finished the bird. I was so excited and then realized that this part right here is also part of his wing. So apparently I didn't finish the bird, <laughs> but I will get that work done. But right now I'm kind of working my way down and then I might try to get all this done. But I'm right here in this green area right here right now. But he is just, it is a fabulous design. I really love it. And let's take a look. And of course, nothing's iron, so sorry about that. And let's see, I'll flip it this way. And there he is. So you can see I went all the way down with this wing since the last time you saw it. And then I've been working on the graveyard. Sorry about the, there we go, you can probably see it there. Um, working on the graveyard, and you can see I'm working my way down there. I started. I like that I can outline the blocks of color and then fill them in when I have time to fill them in. A lot of this wing was filled in when I went to um, a stitchy meetup. So I did go to a stitchy meetup. I started a group, um, Lake Cumberland Stitchers, to try to find people in my area to stitch with. And I have about 19 or 20 people join my group at this point, which is awesome, which is just local people for the most part. And we had a meetup oh, about a week ago or so, and um, Melissa was kind enough to do it at her home. We still haven't found a permanent meetup place. I'm hoping for either the public library or the um, 
Center for Rural Development. I'm still waiting for responses, but we had a great time. There was four of us that showed up this time, and I worked on most of that wing, filling in the wing during that time. So I was, it was great because I didn't have to pull out a pattern or anything. I could just work on that and not have to pay attention to anything. So that was awesome. So I'm looking forward to our next meetup. We won't have another meetup until January. With the holidays and everything, I felt like people were on to focus on their family and working on the holidays and shopping. So we will start meeting up hopefully around the 20th of January. And some of the other ladies will be able to join us because we'll be over all the holiday stuff, which will be awesome. Because as it is, although I love the holidays, I'm still in Halloween at my house, okay? I still have Halloween stuff up. My fall stuff is still up, but it, we just had Thanksgiving, but that's all up still. I have not pulled out any Christmas stuff whatsoever. I tried to pull out um, the Christmas tree. I had purchased a Christmas tree last year um, at the you know clearance of Walmart. Ended up getting a seven and a half foot Christmas tree, lit, lit Christmas tree for an awesome deal. It was like 75% oh, off maybe. And I said, well, we'll just throw it up in the shed next year, which is now we'll pull it out. It'll be awesome. Well, I pulled it out. I had my husband open it up and it was flocked. I had no idea. I didn't pay attention that the tree was flocked. It didn't say it in the big writing. It said it in a little writing on the box, but the big writing said seven and a half foot red. I think it was redwood tree, light, warm white lights. And that's exactly one of, but it didn't say it until you read all the little print and stuff. So I definitely didn't want a flock tree when I have three animals, one new cat that, to Christmas that had never seen a tree before. And one that likes to pick anything off the floor that likes to eat it. And the dog does the same. So I'm like, oh, I didn't want a flock tree. So I ended up boxing it back up. I have it posted on Marketplace and I'm going to use my old tree again, which is my old, um, what is it? It's like a narrow tree this year. And then I will try again after Christmas to see if I can get any trees from the Walmart at a 50 or 75% off that are not flocked. So I can have a nice new big tree, but I may give up on it. I might just keep my old tree and be done with it and, I still have my Halloween naked tree that I can hang ornaments on too. And so I don't know. I don't know. We'll see what happens or if the tree even sells. I've had someone contact me. Of course, they always want to say, what's the lowest you will go? Well, that's not fair because you haven't seen the item. So I, you know, I always tell them, come and look at the item and then we will talk about price. And she came back at me again and said, well, we're, we just moved. I had a brand new baby and, um, I can't afford much. And, uh, you know, I was trying to find one as low as I could. And I had posted it for, I think I posted it for, yeah, I posted it for a hundred dollars and it was $229 tree. So I told her, I said, listen, the lowest I'm going to go on it is 85. I said, that's still, the tree is a $229 tree at the Walmart has not been used. And um, that's the lowest one. Oh, I understand completely. And that was the end of it. I guess she thought I was going to give it away or something, but I can't afford to give the tree away. Um, you know, if I can't sell it, then I'll do something with it. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe I can use just the top portion as a mini tree. That wouldn't be a bad idea. That wouldn't be a bad idea. I can put it on a tabletop. The animals won't be able to read it, uh, reach it. And then I could decorate that. There's a thought. I might do. I might. We'll see. If it doesn't sell, we'll see. But I spent a lot of time working on Map of Cochrane Hollow. And then the last thing that I worked on was the Crochetta Go Go's Winter Sampler. I know you've all have seen this one before. And I pulled it back out. And if you remember from last time, this is the one where I was stitching it on 40 count Verdal, which is a even weave, 40 count even weave. And I was not enjoying it at all. The, the Vidal the holes were really small. Even for 40 count, it seemed a lot smaller than that. And so I went and I ordered, I pulled it all out. I went and ordered 36 count um, vintage country mocha. That's what this is. And here is where I'm at with it. Started all over again and I'm working on the border. So that's as far as I've gotten with it. 
So I want to pull this out again this winter and start working on it and put the hawk run aside for now and start working on this one more. And that's about all the stitching I have done. I haven't really done anything else stitching wise. Now I have lots of other projects that I've started. Like I started working on my punch needle again. So this is the pattern. It is a little penguin with the hat. And that's the back where I, the, my punched area, which I think I have some things I need to cut there. But if you want to see the punched actual area that will be showing, that is this. So you can see I've got his little hat right here in, and I need to start putting the top part in. And this goes pretty quickly if I could focus on getting it done, but I haven't been able to focus. So I started it and then I realized I was missing a color. I think I was trying to do his beak or something in this little part up here. And I'm like, oh, I'm missing that orangey color. So I stopped completely to get some orange um, yarn because I'm doing this in yard. I am using my um, uh, Ultra Punch. And usually I use DMC, but this one I am doing with yarn, yarn that I got from Hobby Lobby, and it's a three ply. And you can see, let me see if I tilt it a little, you can see that it's yarn. So I'm going to continue working on that. He's going to be, the little pair I'm doing are going to be coasters for our cups. So I started on that. And then I had all these little snowmen cut out from last year that I didn't finish. And I've started picking these back up again. If I can find the one I'm working on. Or not. Where'd he go? Uh-oh. I lost a snowman. Maybe he's in this bag. There he is. Come here, guy. Nope, that's not him. Okay. Wait. Okay, so... I have a bunch of them cut out, you know, they're like put together. They're wool and they have to be stitched on. So they have a front. Okay. So they have a front and a back. You see the needle stuck right there. And I'm starting to do the applique on his little face. I don't know if you can see the stitching up along here and around the holly leaves and around his mustache. So I have a bunch of them. I want to get finished as gifts. So there's like one two three i think there's like four of them right now that i have that i actually cut out all these pieces last year and then didn't do anything with them so i am working on those again i'm thinking i'm going to take these to my car on lunch and work on these and give me something to do at lunchtime besides stitching which is a little easier because I can just do it without a pattern. So I got those going. And then I got this urge to cut out more wool appliques for ornaments. And they are from this book. That pattern I just showed you was that the Santa star, he is just a pattern I got off of Pinterest. I'm not sure who the designer is, but the other ones I'm about to show you come from this book, which is, um, it is Ornament Extravaganza 2 from Buttermilk, Buttermilk Bic, Basin. Buttermilk Basin. So there's the book there. And there's several I am working on. I have Gingerbread Men. Let's see if I can flip to them real quick. Because I know the Gingerbread Men are towards the front. There we go. Gingerbread Boy and Girl. So I'm doing those two. And then I'm doing... See, I gotta flip one more. I'm doing the Santa and the Angel. And you can see they all have stitching around them and stuff, and I need to do that. And they did theirs in a like, I don't know, a tan or something. I'm doing mine more subdued. Maybe I should do it like that. I don't know. Anyway, this is where I'm at with it. Here's my Santa. He's all wool appliqued and stuck together. I haven't done any stitching. And my gingerbread boy. And my gingerbread girl. 
So as you can see, they're all wool applique together, but they're not any stitching on them. And I think these three, and there's an angel. I haven't put the angel together because I'm missing my Teflon ironing, um, my Teflon sheet that I have to iron over so they don't stick to anything. But um, these three, I think I'm going to put on pillows. Or I might make them hanging ornaments. I don't know. I haven't decided. But I need to get them done. So I'm working on that. I started a mug rug for a friend at work. So, and she loves um, sunflowers, but that's as far as I got. I got part of the stitching done. I still have more to do and stitch all this. I might stitch her name through here. We'll see, but I have that to do. And then I got involved in doing some quilting. So, I'm going to show you my quilt panel, which I am super excited about. It is not perfect, but I am proud of it all the same. That This is my first quilted front. It is a wall hanging, and I still haven't put the batting and stitched. And hopefully next time I do a video, I will be completely, completely done, fully done. But I still want to show it because it is absolutely the neatest thing. I followed this pattern, and there it is. Isn't that so cool? It is fabulous. I love it. I love it. So I just used what fabric I had in my little cabinets. And those are the greens I came up with. And it's got the red trim along it, which is none of it straight like it should be. It's not perfect, but I love it still. And I can't wait to get it fully finished. So like I said, I still have to get the batting in the back cut and then do some quilting and then bind it and get a hanger for it and that'll be super exciting i hope i can get it done before christmas i'm hoping uh, besides that i haven't really done anything else that was the extent since the last time you see me which isn't really a lot considering i haven't seen you guys for i don't know a month or more so um a lot of times i don't feel like doing any crafting or stitching so that's the way it goes as far as anything I have purchased or received, um, there's another hair. Hold on. My hair is still falling out incredibly fast. So I got my punch needle in Primitive Stitcher magazine, which I absolutely love. If you do not have this, you don't have a subscription to this, you are missing out. Because not only does it have stitching, it has punch needle, it sometimes has wool applique. And what I love the most, when we were talking about the Fancy That Elves, hold on, see if I can find it, there it is, is, you know, we talked about the Fancy That, Fancy That is going to come back and start designing and stuff, and she's going to release the Elves again. She also is one of the designers in the Punch Needle. So you can see there it says, uh, Glisten, a frosty friend. This is by Beth Bradshaw of Fancy That. So isn't that cool that she is really starting to come back again? Hopefully we will see those elves coming out soon. Um, when they were originally released, there was only seven released of the 12. So we still have five that I have not even seen yet that I'm excited to see. I do have the seven that were originally released and I'm working them as I'm going. And I'll be excited to see what the other five look like. And I'm hoping she's going to put them out. She had talked about maybe a PDF instead of a paper pattern. We will see. But I'm excited about that and I'm excited that she's in the Punch Needle book. And I absolutely love this design on the front, which is by Kitten Stitcher, Shakespeare's Peddler. So I love that. And then I received my last kit from Dying to Stitch. I'm sure that's who this is. Ooh, I hate when I don't know for sure. Hold on. Yeah, Dying to Stitch, their monthly club, or not monthly club, their yearly club, which had three designers. This is the third one that we finally received, which is um, by Hello by Le Hello from Liz Matthews and Kathy Bear. And it is called A Visit from St. Nick. Sorry about the glare. 
and it is a full kit with all the supplies, the fabric, the threads. So excited about that design. It is absolutely adorable. Um, I am in it for next year as well, but I think I'm going to have to cancel for next year. She did say that there are, what'd she say? The design is for next year and it only comes out three times the year. So you only get three kits throughout the year. And for next year, they have it set for, let's see, there it is. Next year will be Stacy Nash, Needlework Press, and La Dida. La Dida. So those are the three designers for next year. And I think I'm going to have to cancel mine for next year because I got myself involved in a wool um, club that's going to run for eight months. And it is called the Gingerbread Bake Shop. It is by Calico Patch Designs. So there it is there and it'll be eight shipments of eight shipments one a month for a wool applique block and you'll complete each block each month and you'll receive the next one this is the first one that's coming out that's the first one we'll receive and isn't that absolutely gorgeous and this will be a wall hanging when we're done it'll all connect together with a backing piece it'll be a wall hanging which is super exciting so if you haven't heard of that, you do wool applique, you want to try it, wool applique, it is not difficult at all. There are tons of tutorials on how to do the stitches and it is super fun. And um, if you purchase the kits from them, because you have to, number one, you have to join their Facebook group. So they have a Facebook group that's going to post and I want to say it's $40 one time purchase of $40. You stay in the group for the entirety of the group and you receive the PDF patterns. And then you can watch the videos and the tutorials and stuff and things like that and get your own fabric and threads and do it that way. Or you can buy the monthly kits. So if you purchase the monthly kits, then you get all the, the fabric, everything you need except for the thread, everything else that you need, including a full color um, pattern, paper pattern with your kit. And then she said she's including in those kits an extra gift every month of a complete kit of some type, whether it's an ornament or whatever it is. She doesn't say it's a surprise. I am super excited to find out what it's going to be. This is the first time I've joined a stitch along that involves wool applique. And I am super excited because Christine from Stitch All the Things had joined it too. So we've already been talking about this and we're going to encourage each other to get this done. So we are super excited to be able to do this. And we both have someone else that we know that's doing it as well. I'll tell you what, Christine, I'm not really good <laughs> at wool applique. I'm still practicing on my stitches. But the great thing about wool applique is you can pull your stitches out and redo them. And you can't even tell because it's wool. It just goes through the fibers and it's absolutely fabulous. So I'm super excited about that. I did... Um, purchased some PDFs. I'm not sure that I showed before, but I wanted to share them because I absolutely love them. This one is called Thankful, Grateful, Blessed. It is from New Creation Studio, which is Allison. She is on Etsy. And I love that. I love the pillows, the three pillows. That's adorable, but I love it together too. It's a beautiful design. Um, also, I purchased these gingerbread um, men that are double-sided because my friend Kim who is um, Kim T X Stitch Crazy on Instagram, stitched me these last year and gifted them to me. And so I want to stitch them and gift them to someone too. So I ended up getting them. That's the little boy. You, you stitch the front and the back on perforated paper and you stitch them together. And then they have the little girl. So just absolutely adorable. These patterns are by Maria, which is uh, Cute Patterns by Maria. That's on Etsy. Um, I ended up getting uh, the autumn sampler from Crescetta Gogo because who doesn't want to stitch that adorable bear and the, and the raccoon and all the other animals and that beautiful fall motif um, theme. It's just absolutely gorgeous. So I picked that up. And I think that's it. I don't think there's anything else that I haven't shared already. Yep, that's it. So 
lots of things to do. How much will I get done? I don't know. I'm glad I'm keeping this under 30 minutes. So that makes me really happy that it's not going to be that long. Won't take that long to upload. If you have any questions about anything that I shared, please don't be afraid to comment below. I love hearing from everybody and hearing what you're working on. So if you want to share what you're working on, you can do that. Um, if you have any questions, you can do that as well. If I can get to a video next month, I'm going to try my hardest to get that done before Christmas. I think I'm going to do a giveaway. That would be fun. And then I'll do a, and I don't know if it'll be for my birthday that I'll do the giveaway or I'll do one before. If I do one before, I will come back at my birthday or yeah, probably on my birthday or New Year's Day and do another video and do another giveaway. So I want to do all that. I didn't share with you guys what I was going to start on my birthday. Ooh. Um, I'll share that next time. And if it's past my birthday, then you guys get to see. But there's six designs, six large projects that I'm going to start on my birthday. I haven't come up with a hashtag. I haven't asked anyone to join me, but if you want to join me for my 60th birthday and start six new projects on December 31st, I would be loving that. If you can join me and then if you join me, let me know that you're going to join me and then we will come up with a hashtag. And I guess that's it. You guys have a great day. Thank you so much for visiting with me. If this is your first time visiting with me, I hope you'll come back again and again. Please don't forget that I have videos put um, that are how-to videos for how to finish a stocking and how to finish a um, ornament. So if you're doing the Prairie School ornaments, I have those. And you can certainly use that video to um, finish any ornament whatsoever, but I was doing the Prairie Schooler ones. There are several how-to videos on my channel, so check those out. And I will see you guys next time. I hope everyone had a wonderful Thanksgiving in the U.S. And if you're in over this over the pond or anywhere else, um, I hope you had a wonderful weekend and I will see you next time. Bye.